Sinicoculture is a new agricultural method advocated by Dr. Masatoshi Funabashi, senior researcher at Sony Computer Science Laboratories, Inc., Sony CSL, in which various kinds of plants are mixed and grown in high density. This helps achieve a dual benefit. It restores the environment and establishes a highly diverse ecosystem. However, managing such dense vegetation requires a high level of ecological literacy and complex decision-making. Recently, researchers from Waseda University, in collaboration with Sustainergy Company and Sony CSL, have designed a compact, flexible robot that manages Sinico culture farms grown in the typically unutilized area extending under solar panels. The solar panels here provide a two-fold benefit. The shade they provide creates an environment in which cultivating vegetation is easier, and the electricity generated via solar energy can help power irrigation equipment, agricultural machinery, crop preservation, manufacturing and transportation, and may also be provided to surrounding areas. The robot has a four-wheel mechanism for moving on uneven terrain and a 360-degree camera to recognize and maneuver its surroundings. Various farming tools can be loaded onto the robot, which adjusts their position using an extendable robotic arm and a horizontally moving table. The robot's functioning was optimized by regularizing the shape and size of seeds that were meant to be sown and creating a human-controlled navigating system to help it operate tools, implement automatic sewing, and switch tasks. The novel robot can successfully sow, prune, and harvest without disturbing the dense vegetation around it. Moreover, its navigation system enables it to avoid obstacles 50% better and reduces its operating time by 49% as compared to a simple controller. This robot can be widely used in general agriculture as well as Sinico culture. It can improve the yield per unit area by allowing crops to be sown in mixed associations and contribute to increasing farming efficiency. In turn, these advancements will allow for farming in a diverse range of environments, helping agriculture become more sustainable and carbon neutral.